Hey guys, welcome to a process video for Craft Roulette 180. This is from the episode with Michelle Lupton, and it had four parameters. The project type is a card with a belly band. Here you see I'm showing you a close-up of the good, which is the parameter, or the element. And the good boy also has a bark. And then I'm showing you sort of my Daisy Garden color palette. You see I have sort of a cream colored cardstock there. And then I have my yellow that is sort of the center that you kind of see on a standard Daisy. At least the yellow and white ones that you see a lot around here. Then I pulled in a lot of pinks and peaches because they're also... Um, I've seen a lot of sort of reds and pinks in the Daisy family. So now I'm just pulling back so I can start doing a little bit of uh, edging on the cover plate. This is actually a new cover plate die that I got from Cat Scrappiness. It's part of the Crafters Essentials um, fall collection. It comes with the cover plate die. It also comes with uh, a couple other things, including a tree and all, a banner die that's sort of edged in the same stitching detail, which is kind of nice. You don't really see banner dies in um, kits all that much. And it's nice when you have something that kind of goes with the whole theme. Also, if you're familiar with the cat scrappiness dies, there's about a bajillion different sets of nested stitch detail dies. So this fits very well into that if you wanted to do something a little bit more uh, in depth. And here I'm just sort of showing how the two colors line up. Um, and I'm coming back in for a second round, because I really want to sort of highlight that stitch detail. Now I'm going to go and cut a belly band out of just some craft card stock. I cut it at about an inch because I thought that would be good, and that kind of meets with our Daisy Garden color theme, with sort of the dirt or uh, mulch or whatever you prefer inside of your Daisy Garden. Um, I'm just going to sort of rough fit this on the card uh, once I get this together. And then I'll just glue that uh, front autumn sentiment to it when we're done. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put a little glue around that maple leaf detail. And then I'm going to go and adhere the uh, sort of goldenrod color cardstock to it. Basically, the um, cardstock is fairly thin. It's just the Recollections 67 pounds, so I didn't bother... Um, putting any supports under the rest of the card, just because I felt like once it was together, there wouldn't be too much of a difference. I'm going to go and use those scissors just to cut the corner off, um, just to give a little more insurance around that rounded corner that nothing would slip out. And then I wound up losing my nice bone folder, so I'm using my OG uh, teal squeegee to actually get the glue distributed. And the nice thing is that the Lineco pH neutral glue I'm using actually dries really quickly, so we're pretty much good to go. I'm just going to do a little more dry fitting, and then we're going to glue the card base down with uh, a little ATG tape. And here I'm coming in with that. Um, this is actually a pretty straightforward card, because once this is together, all you really need to do is get the dog on, and then get the... Uh, rest of things together. I guess I should tell you this is going to be a fairly big week for my channel, both on my channel and other places. I think between the 14th and the 15th, there's three or four different hops going on. Um, the one that comes to mind is there is a YouTube video hop for Not Too Shabby, and there is an Instagram hop for Cat Scrappiness, and then there's also a Crafty Fun with Friends Back to School Hop, and there's probably something else I am forgetting. Oh, also on the 14th, I'm on Not Too Shabby showing a really kind of interesting project that I thought was pretty cool. I was just showing off the die there a little bit. I really think this is a nice set. Um, it's nice to be able to get a, a more interesting cover plate die generally. And I always find myself buying them and not using them, but I feel like this one is versatile enough where it'll come in handy from time to time. And there I just have the dog glued down. And really all that's left to do now is to fit the belly band. And there's a couple different ways to do this. Typically the way I've been doing them recently is by flipping the card over and then just sort of 
sort of dry fitting it and cutting off any excesses and gluing it. And then if you glue the ephemera piece or whatever you're putting in the middle of your belly band, I, I mean, I almost always use some sort of ephemera or sentiment or something like that. But basically, if you glue it where they the two ends meet, it's a lot less noticeable as opposed to just having a, uh, you know, sort of a seam on the back of your card. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to trim that. I'm going to trim it a little more than, a little longer than I think I need, just so it's not a super tight belly band. And then I'm pretty much going to just flip it over and then sort of dry fit it a little bit more to get it the seam more in the center so that it lines up for where I want to put my sentiment. And let's just cut to getting the belly band together. I'm adding a little bit more glue, and then I'm going to put down my sort of central piece of ephemera. And there we go. And now we're basically done. I just need to fit this onto the card. I always sort of fuss around with the sentiment strip or the belly band a little bit to make sure I haven't accidentally like glued it to itself in any way. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of time, and then we are going to. Just go and fit it on the card, and we are basically done. So let's just run through our four parameters. The project type is a card with a belly band, which you see there. Daisy Garden colors, which are the, basically the yellows and the pinks, and the white on the dog. Like the dog and the leaf kind of show you a traditional daisy, and then the pink is the more one of the colored daisies. Anyway, um... Then Bark and Good are both part of the dog because he's a good boy who sometimes barks. And 180 is in the bag. So this was a pretty quick project and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Please check out my channel. There's a whole playlist of Craft Roulette stuff if you're interested. And if you do want to see Craft Roulette on one of my Sunday lives, just let me know. I'm more than happy to do the cards live. But today I had some extra time so I figured I would just check it out. Have a good one.